All right, Taurus, this is for you. This is for the end of October 2024. Let's see what's going on for my Taurus friends. We have a new moon in Scorpio, which is opposing you. That's your opposite sign, your partner, Scorpio. New moon happening uh, nine degrees of Scorpio, I believe. So if you have anything at nine degrees of Taurus, that's going to be impacted. Also, just know that um, on November 1st, that's when that new moon's taking place. Also, we're going to have Pluto, 29 degrees Capricorn, opposing um, Mars at 29 degrees of Cancer. All right. So Capricorn is your trying, you're trining that, which means there is a, a chance for you to take some kind of action that is going to bring you into the next life. But it's like, you're done with this chapter and you've got to get to the next chapter. Okay. So that could be a rather fiery affair, right? It could just kind of like, like a flashbang. Um, so be prepared to move pretty quickly. All right. I'm getting shadow here for you underneath stormy. What's going on here, Taurus death. That is Scorpio time and meditate. So some of you have been going through a really challenging time and it's like every time you turn around, there's another shadow aspect of yourself or shadow aspect of someone else. And what does that mean? That's shadow aspects of ourselves are the things that we prefer not to see the things that we don't really like about ourselves. So we're kind of abandoning ourselves when um, any of these things come up like jealousy or, um, vindictiveness, persecution, like really challenging parts of ourselves that we don't, you know, we're like, no, we're sweetness and sunshine, whatever. Um, the stormy parts of your life are going to evolve into, as we're moving into the age of Aquarius, the stormy, whatever's stormy right now is going to evolve into a very spiritual quest for you. And it's going to be all about up, unearthing these shadowy parts of yourself and healing them. Some of you are really aligning and moving into a tremendously spiritual phase of your life. Okay. So let's see where we're going here. Page of swords coming out. Three of pentacles. Wow. Death card again. This is all about Scorpio time. So we're in preparation. We just had the sun move into Scorpio. So the end of October is Scorpio time. Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Wow. Okay. So I do feel like there are some people who are trying to keep you from this new chapter. And there is some conflict about doing it. Some of you don't like to be a, a, a newbie at anything. The Page of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. You're preferring to be the guy who's the master. I just feel like this is something you're going to have to start fresh, learning something new. You're going to have to be okay with making mistakes at it. This is almost like a karmic lesson that says in order to grow, in order to get to this new chapter and get out of the storm, right? Have the storm be behind you. You're going to have to accept that you are new at something and be it's public because this is other people and this is other people and this, there's something very public about an ending and a new beginning here. So this could be happening in your 10th house of career. Could be happening in a marriage because if you are a Taurus, the opposite seventh house is Scorpio and there's something there uh, about an ending of an intimate relationship. All right. So let's see what the reading brings. King of Pentacles. That's Taurus energy. Justice. High Priestess. Yeah, look at that. You're going from, I feel like Taurus, you're going from a life that has been very focused on financial success um, into something that's more spiritually related. It's almost like you're stepping, you're channeling, like maybe literally stepping into being a channeler or a mystic of some kind. This is like going through legally some kind of ending. 
some kind yeah look at that okay the strength card the two of swords four of cups so i feel like this is vulnerable like you might need to ask for help or you might need to appear again i keep getting this feeling of like i don't want to be seen having making this transition i don't want anybody seeing me learning or doing something new that i may be kind of clunky at like i don't know what i'm doing i don't i want people to think i'm proficient in everything i do all the time and that's what's holding you back it is it's what's holding you back from this new chapter and that's why things are stormy right now because it's like we're holding on to like a life raft uh, and like, just get on the big boat. Why are we holding on to the life raft? Nope. This is what I said I would do. Okay. And there's something about a little bit of stubbornness here, Taurus, a little bit of stubbornness could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Libra, Cancer, Leo, Scorpio, six of swords and the seven of wands. No, I don't want to go to this new place. So me talking about the future or like, hey, the new chapter is awesome. New chapter is more spiritual. You're like, no, no, no. I want to go back to where I am the king. But I don't feel like that place exists anymore. I don't feel like that place exists anymore. And so there's like a going forward. Like I, you know, I was married to somebody for 50, 40 years and they passed away or something like that. And now I'm going to need to navigate the world on my own, or I'm going to, you know, the next step, if I want to get married again, do I want to do that? Do I want to, you know, something is over and now I'm going to have to navigate this, this, this is a very different world than when it was when you got into this chapter. Like this has moved very kind of long-term. This has been a long-term chapter. All right. Talk to me about the death card here. You might have to consult an expert about something. Nine of cups, two of pentacles, the lover's card, and the ace of wands. So I see something really, really good here coming in, but it is new. New to you, anyway. It is new. And look at this. Stubborn. No, 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 no. I want what I had, not what I'm going toward. And I just get the feeling here that there's a, there's a, a karmic energy that is like, get out of the storm, stop standing in the storm. Why are you, why are you still standing in this place? It's not what you think it is. Oh, it's not what you think it is. This is not what love is. This is not what kindness or generosity is. This is really about safety and security that is very unsafe and unsecure. Why King of Swords, Aquarius energy, Ten of Cups, Chariot, Nine of Swords, and the Two of Cups. Wow. Okay. So this is about seeing, seeing the future more clearly for yourself and going in the direction of what makes you happy. And then having to reconcile that what you had was not what you might want. This is odd. It's sort of like you're, you're wanting everybody to think that it was great, but now it's over. And don't ask me any questions about that. It was great. It was perfect. Don't ask me any questions. And now the next thing is going to be great and perfect. <laughs> what? It's almost like, you know, the being vulnerable part here. The having to ask for help. Having to navigate a new world. Having to say yes to some things and no to some things. I get, I just get the feeling that like you've come to the end of some cycle that even if it was not that good, at least it was safe. And now you're seeing that it really wasn't that safe because it's kept you in a place of 
It's kept you from learning new stuff about yourself. And now you're gonna have to learn a lot all at once. All right. It's kept you, it's kept you safe in one way, physically, but not emotionally or in terms of your maturity, in terms of your personal growth. It's kept you stuck is what it's kept you. Right. So um, standing still in a career over the past 25 years and that company goes out of business. It's like, it's not personal. Okay. It goes out of business or something like that happens. And like, now you've got to brave the, the market, the business market, the, the job market without having any new skills. And that's a scary place to be. I almost feel like this has to do with a more of a romantic nature of things, but nonetheless, it's still a spirit. It's still a shift from a world that no longer exists anymore into something that is very new. And so there's a sense of like, okay, I don't want to, I don't know how to even navigate this. And so I feel like there's, I feel like there is something about, have you surrounded yourself with like a bunch of mean girls, like people who would not help you or people who would not be okay or be very nurturing to you when you need it. I mean, that might be the first step is like to find some kind of nurturing. And, you know, you might be following your spiritual guidance to find a collective that is open and affirming, or that is very nurturing and kind and able to let you be who you are becoming without being proficient at it. You don't have to be an expert at everything. And how do I get to being someone where I'm going without letting anybody know that I don't know what I'm doing? I'm afraid to show myself right now. The Two of Swords and the Four of Cups. Knight of Cups. Emperor. Knight of Wands. Ace of Cups. I feel like romantically, you're not going to have any trouble here. Uh, I feel like, but I also feel like because you might have been with somebody who was very, I don't know, cold or not really welcoming you to learn more about yourself as a person, they wanted you just to do one specific thing to do it very well and then not to grow. This feels very stifled, like your growth was stifled. And other people, you know, sort of going through divorce or going, moving on in their lives, even though it was tough for a while, they're doing well now. And you're seeing all of that, maybe with friends or whatever, and afraid to say what's going on with you. You could be with, you could have been with somebody who really just wanted you to stay the same. Never change. Maybe that's what they've said to you. Never change. And it's an endearing idea on one level. And it's also a uh, kind of a um, stifling idea. So I, I do like this, actually, about this King of Swords. If this is you, you're channeling your inner warrior. You're channeling your inner um, desire to explore. And that could come from some kind of encouragement here. There's some kind of encouragement from an outside source I feel like it's not a mean girl or it's not somebody that you have been in competition with. It could come from a completely different place. Like you really move away from a set of friends or a set of, you know, the neighborhood friends and the uh, garden club friends and the, um, I don't know why I said that, but like the garden club friends, friends or the knitting club friends or the book club friends, like you move into more of a spiritual direction. And these people are very supportive, all right, of new beginnings. They allow you to be open. They allow you to share even stuff that you find unflattering about yourself. This is growth. That is what growth is. And so there's just a sense from an outside source. I feel like there might be a Cancerian, an Aries, a Sag, a Leo, somebody who's allowing you to be your true self. 
I'm really seeing that. And there's a new beginning here. Tower. Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. All right, and the King of Cups. So let's explore this. This is definitely about you putting in some work and effort but I feel like these people in a spiritual, um, this could even be, it doesn't even have to be real life walking around 3D people. This could be your guides, your spirit guides. To really lean into the spiritual side of your life is going to be a huge help. All right. So let's see where you're going with this. I love the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. Let's see where this takes you. Uh, link is below Taurus. If you want to continue with me, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.